the next minute or two is not quite hypnotizing you yet. What we're about to do is warm up your imagination because hypnosis is really all about the power that you already have there in your mind. And you each have a very powerful mind. So all of the volunteers, everyone sit up straight, both feet flat on the floor. Is anybody chewing gum? No, no, sit down, sir. No, not stand up straight, sit up straight. There we go. Is, any, is anybody chewing gum? That's all right, he's enthusiastic. I like it, okay? If you're chewing gum, please dispense the gum in somehow, like maybe putting it under the chair or something. <laughs> somehow, it'll throw your concentration off and you don't want to accidentally swallow it if you go into hypnosis and so forth. Now, if you have glasses, what you want to do is give those glasses to a friend in the audience. You have a relative or a friend or something in the audience that can hang onto those glasses while we're in the show, because if you put them in your pocket, they, they could accidentally break. There we go. Now, those of you in the audience who would like to participate in what we're about to do from where you are sitting in the audience, please feel free to do so. And if you do well at this, you may be up here in the show in the next minute or two, if you would like to be. Okay, volunteers. And those of you in the audience who would like to participate, the volunteers, open your eyes for a few seconds. Take a look at me. I want you to put your hand directly out in front of you like this, with your arms straight, palms facing each other, about 12 inches apart. And once again, everyone, please close your eyes. The volunteers, I'd like you to use that powerful imagination that you have. Using the power that is already there in your mind when in hypnosis, there's all sorts of amazing things that you can do. Using the power of your mind, when in hypnosis, you can actually alleviate pain. Using the power of your mind, when in hypnosis, you can raise and lower your body temperature level. You can raise and lower your blood pressure level and lots of other amazing things. So using the power that you already have, I'd like you to imagine that there are magnets in the palms of your hands. I want you to see the magnets in the palms of your hands. I want you to feel the magnets in the palms of your hands. And in that powerful imagination that you have, that you can make anything happen, I want you to imagine that those are opposite magnets and they are beginning to pull your hands together with a very powerful force now. Those magnets are pulling, tugging, tugging, pulling, drawing your hands in closer and closer and closer. Use your imagination. See the magnets. Feel them pulling your hands in closer and closer and closer. Those magnets are now 10 times stronger. Those magnets are now 100 times stronger. And they are pulling your hands together with a very powerful force now, now everyone keep your hands right where they are. Folks, take a look at the hands that came together. I see a lot of good hands that came together. Not everyone was participating in it, but just about. Okay, we see some of the hands that are kind of a, a little bit further apart. Now, usually what the, the stage hypnotist uses this for is to early on determine who is more likely to follow directions and who is not. Collistons in particular uh, typically will move their hands together very, very quickly. And this is a good example, another good example, another good example. And years ago, I used to then go through and find all the people whose hands weren't together, and I would say, well, they're not participating, so I'm going to send them back to the audience. But I discovered that in some cases, people will start to follow the directions as the show goes on. So let's leave everybody up here, and let's see if this theory, as we see it now, some people's hands are together, some are not, and so forth. Let's see if this theory actually works. Okay, so all the volunteers, put your hands in your lap. And everyone, once again, please close your eyes. The volunteers, we have not begun to hypnotize you yet. However, what you are experiencing now, with your eyes closed, is similar to what you will experience in hypnosis. By that I mean, you will always be aware of the sound of my voice. You will be in an altered state of mind from where you are now. But don't expect to go completely unconscious or lose touch with your surroundings. You will always be aware of your surroundings. You will always be aware of the sound of my voice. Now, volunteers, as we are about to proceed into the hypnosis induction, it is important to mention that during this part of the show, it is likely you will hear some distracting sounds from the environment. You may hear people giggling. 
No, almost always when you hear people giggling during this part of the show, it's because they see somebody that's in the show beginning to respond to the suggestions. Maybe that person is slumping over to one side. Maybe that person has decided to relax on the floor in front of their chair. That's probably why you hear the giggling. Now, I want you to expect that to occur. Now, when it occurs, you can deal with it really quite simply. All you have to do is tune it out, tune it only to the sound of my voice and your concentration. Remember, nothing can interfere with your concentration if you don't want it to. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we're about to proceed into the hypnosis induction, you're actually a very well-behaved audience, but I always say this at this point. Anyway, it's very important that the folks in the audience try to be as quiet as possible and keep movement in the audience to a minimum so that the folks that are trying to go into hypnosis, there could be someone in the audience, will be able to concentrate. Now, once they're hypnotized, I'll let you know what that is. Once they are hypnotized, it's fine for you to make all the noise you want to. You can applaud. You can have a great time. You can tell your friends up here how much fun they are because at that point, the more noise you make, the deeper into hypnosis they will go. But for the next few minutes or so, if everybody would try to be as quiet as possible, keep movement in the audience to a minimum. We'll get past this part of the show. We'll get to the really fun part of the show soon, okay? Volunteers, are you ready to be hypnotized? Good answer. Now, volunteers, whenever you've either seen or heard about someone being hypnotized before, really what's going on there? In all cases, they are hypnotizing themselves. All hypnosis is called self-hypnosis. What that means is every person that has ever gone into hypnosis is actually hypnotizing themselves. So you're going to hypnotize yourself. And do you know what? It is really easy to do. All you have to do is two things. One, you must focus your attention on one object. In this case, with your eyes closed, I would like for you to imagine a blue light. And two, you must be able to relax. Now, relaxation is very important. If I come to you in about five minutes or so to shake your hand, and your upper body is as tense as a statue, what that means is you're trying to resist going into hypnosis as much as possible. So think of your body as loose, like spaghetti. The more you relax, the more you focus your mind, the deeper into hypnosis you will go. And that's all you got to do. So everyone that is here tonight who would like to be hypnotized, close your eyes, imagine a blue light, listen very carefully to the sound of my voice, and soon you will feel very relaxed. Now, volunteers, at any time during this process that you feel more comfortable relaxing to your left or to your right or even slowly and carefully on the floor in front of your chair, feel free to do so. 100% concentration. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale slowly. Another nice deep breath. Exhale slowly, and as you stare at the imaginary blue light, and listen to the sound of my voice, with every word you hear me say, with every breath you take, you allow yourself to go deeper and deeper and deeper. What you will discover is the deeper into your hypnosis you go, the stronger those powers and abilities that you have will become. The relaxation you feel enters first through your toes and your feet. Your toes become relaxed. Your feet become relaxed. Now this is a very pleasant feeling in hypnosis. There is no stress, no cares, no fear, no worries. The relaxation begins to flow up your legs. Your ankles become relaxed. Your calves become relaxed. Your knees and thighs become completely relaxed. You take a nice deep breath. Exhale slowly. And as you stare at the imaginary blue light and listen to the sound of my voice, every word you hear me say, with every breath you take, you allow yourself to go deeper and deeper and deeper. The 
relaxation begins to flow into your pelvis. Your back becomes relaxed. Your abdomen becomes relaxed. Your chest becomes relaxed. Your shoulders, arms, hands, fingers become completely relaxed. You take a nice deep breath. Exhale slowly. And as you stare at the imaginary blue light and listen to the sound of my voice, if the blue light begins to go in and out of focus, that's okay. That's hypnosis coming on. The relaxation begins to flow up your neck. Your jaw becomes relaxed. Your face becomes relaxed. Your brain becomes relaxed. You're feeling heavy, sleepy, droopy, drowsy. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale slowly. And as you hear me count from 10 to 1, with every number you hear me say, 